Discovery Day is no more in the city of St. John's, Newfoundland. It's the latest victim of what occurs when you combine political correctness with a heap and helping of white liberal guilt. <laughs> So last week, St. John's City Council passed a motion renaming Discovery Day as, wait for it, St. John's Day. Wow, even if Discovery Day had to be axed, St. John's Day? That's all you got as a replacement? Sad. Actually, it turns out that St. John's Day is only a temporary name replacement. You see, the mavens of political correctness on St. John's City Council were so hell-bent in getting Discovery Day eradicated that they didn't even have enough time to come up with an official permanent replacement name. And how sad is that? Incidentally, Discovery Day refers to June 24th, 1497, the day John Cabot landed in Newfoundland. As you might imagine, that was a pretty big deal some five centuries ago. But last month, Councillor Maggie Burton raised concerns about Discovery Day in light of the whole Truth and Reconciliation movement and the fact that others had discovered Newfoundland prior to Cabot's arrival. Still, none of that changes the fact that Cabot did indeed discover Newfoundland as a European explorer. And not to worry, I won't even segue into the geographical forbidden zone regarding land bridge theory, which suggests that the Americas were originally populated by those trekking across a Bering Strait land bridge, all of which means that thousands of years ago, natives too discovered North and South America. Alas, this theory has fallen into disrepute in recent years, not necessarily due to it being scientifically unsound, but thanks to the cultural minefield that is attached to the mere suggestion that First Nations people first lived somewhere else. But I digress. Yeah, the thing that really strikes me about Discovery Day being tossed upon the scrap heap of obsolescence is how quickly this turnabout transpired. For example, in recent years, we've seen all manner of non-PC vintage statues being uprooted right across North America, but Discovery Day only dates back to 1997. Yeah, the world has apparently changed that much in the space of just 21 years. Even worse, the great political minds at St. John's City Council, well, they're now pressing the provincial government to officially change the name of Discovery Day for the entire province. So much for local governance, I guess. Still, St. John's Council will have their work cut out for them in trying to convince Neil King, the House of Assembly representative for Bonavista, to sign off on such historical revisionism. In a Telegram story, it's noted that King is a vocal critic of the name change, and he notes many residents in his district agree with his stance. Says King, quote, They appreciate John Cabot's landing here. No one's disputing that our indigenous friends were before us and that the Vikings before that, but this is the first landing in the New World from our European settlers back in 1497, end quote. You know, I think I'm having an allergic reaction to this statement, folks. I mean, such straight talk, such common sense, such bravery in light of PC madness, and all emanating from an elective representative at that. I'm getting a bit dizzy here. In the meantime, I'm sure the elected reps on St. John's City Council are burning the midnight oil as they try to come up with a new permanent name for the now defunct Discovery Day at the risk of coming across as culturally insensitive, might I humbly suggest Newfie Joke Day? For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, the Rebel has a new app. Please download that app and take the Rebel with you wherever you go.